Hey everybody, Eagle Run 23 here. I found some more 22. So this is the uh, CCI Stingers or Stangers 32 grain. Now these are always a little bit more expensive than the than the regular stuff. We found these at Academy Sports and Outdoors, and that kind of gets us into the uh, the point of the video here: ammo prices and availability. I am seeing because I've been in a lot of stores, because we're, we're hunting for primers and powders. I am seeing gobs of 308, 223, 5.56, 9mm um, NATO rounds. And it kind of ties into a rumor I heard that I wanted to talk about, but we didn't really ever make a video on the subject because we've been busy with our reloading stuff here. But I had heard that we weren't going to see a supply of other calibers available. I had heard that the manufacturers were going to focus on the core rounds and that's what we would be seeing the most of in the future. At the time, given that this was early in summer, we saw a big uptick in um, the one, the availability, and we saw a big decrease in the price because supply was there and the prices came down. And that's kind of what got us up into, you know, sep you know, almost to September and through August. And now in September, what I'm seeing at these stores is tons of steel case. I'm seeing tons of Winchester, um, 223, 556, 9 millimeter, 308. It's, it's all there. There's as you can get as much as you want. Most of the stores have no limits. And it's, it's really interesting to me how this is changing because I feel like we're, we're at a spot where prices are coming down a little bit. I mean, they're ticking down everywhere. You can, I, I've seen cases of nine millimeter. They used to be seven, 800 bucks. Now they're like four, five, 600 bucks. Um, of course, depending on if it's a, you know, a steel case or a more of a defense or just a target. There's still a wide range of prices there, but I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing emails where they're saying, "Hey, 500 bucks, you know, 450." Uh, I even saw some steel case coming out at 350, and so seeing nine millimeter at those prices is encouraging. But it doesn't look like this is going to stick around long term, and the hunting calibers are just non-existent around here. So hopefully everyone has what they need for uh, for hunting season. Uh, if you don't have a few, then uh, you might have a hard time finding stuff. At least that's what I'm seeing. So we've been in a lot of stores and we, we've just, I mean, I've been in Cabela's half a dozen times in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've been to Shields, uh, which is a store where we're, we have a video coming out on Shields. I did a little tour of it and um, we'll, we'll talk about Shields more later. I've been to Academies. Uh, I've been to a couple local gun stores and Bass Pro, and it's just, it's just really interesting that they kind of have the same stuff, and they kind of have the same prices. Um, now, the story on this 22 here was this was $9.99 for 50 rounds, and then I found the exact same product at an academy, same store, different location, and it was $7.99, and we're, I'm seeing some, uh, some price fluctuation there, which I, it's... One store had a ton of it, and one store only had a little bit. Uh, the, the store that had a little bit, it was seven ninety nine. The store that had a ton of it, it was nine ninety nine. They had a whole shelf of this. I bet they had a hundred boxes of it, and it's, it's pretty crazy because the entire ammo section at Academy used to be and like a whole row, and now it's just like one shelf section, you know, floor to ceiling, or, or you know, up to your eye level down to the floor, and it was. It was this was the entire bottom row was just 22 stingers if the if the hunting calibers don't come back if the 40 cal 45 if those aren't in stock then we're still we're still going to be short those rounds long term and i know they say they're making you know non-stop ammo and we kind of like we almost never really saw um a big decrease in supply i mean you could get whatever you needed if you were willing to pay for it and i know a lot of that was private sellers but we, we had, you could get it. We had stuff out there. And now I feel like some people may have been lulled into, oh, prices are coming down. I should be able to get whatever I want. If you, if you want steel case, there's a lot of it, at least around here. Um, there's not a lot of other choices though. And if you want, you know, a target round, there's a lot of it. 
Uh, if you're looking at nine millimeter or 556, 308, I even saw a ton of 762 by 39 at Shields. Uh, they had they had shelf after shelf of it. Um, but there was not a single box of 6.5 Creedmoor anywhere. Um, any of the hunting 308s, none of it. 30-06, none of it. Uh, it's, it's just really interesting where we're at. And I hope you guys have got what you need and that nobody's short any, any ammo. Uh, if you've got to get something, then you're going to pay for it. But that's just kind of kind of where we're at right now. So that's kind of our September uh, update for ammo. Prices are still kind of coming down. Availability is spotty and sketchy. And uh, we got some stingers. So um, I don't need any more 22. I, it's really the only caliber I'm buying right now. I'd probably buy some 6.5 Creedmoor if I saw it. Um, but I haven't seen any anywhere. So... All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you're seeing and how much it is. A lot of you say in the comments that you don't have anything. And so I feel for you guys that haven't had anything. Luckily, we've got a decent supply here in DFW. So uh, come to Texas and stay. <laughs> All right, Eagle Run 2-3. We'll see you next time.